four easy habits that make you more attractive instantly. Let's hop right in right after this. I'm Mike Goldstein of Easy Dating Coach. Number one is be happy and smile. This one is coming after polling not only men, but women. So both sexes have polled. This is one of the most important things that they are craving in their partner, someone who's already happy, already smiling. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know occasionally I get depressed. And at the time I'm filming this, we're in the middle of a pandemic and depression is a real thing. So I wanna talk about three ways to jumpstart this happy, smiling feeling so that you can be in this state more often. All right, so the first one is actually forcing yourself to smile. When you smile, this, there's transmitters, frequencies happening up here that actually trigger you to be happy. I can't quite explain it. I don't know the science, but it works. When I am very sad, sometimes I just go, and then I hold it for 20 seconds, and somehow I start thinking about happier things. I suggest you try it. It actually works. Number two of how to smile, be happy. When asked, how are you? Fake it till you make it and do it in a grandiose fashion. I became famous for this at, um, at a number of corporations, at HSBC, at High Point. I was notorious for these large answers. Mike, how are you? I'm having the best day of my life. I am phenomenal. I am amazing. These are my adjectives that I consistently used. And guess what? Every time I said it, a lot of people at first were like, what the heck, How's it? how are you phenomenal? And that forced me to come up with something I was grateful for or happy for in that day. You know why I'm amazing? Because I got to walk here and I wasn't in pain or I went on a jog yesterday and it wasn't that tiring I didn't, and I made it really far. Whatever, anything you can tell them. All right, number three is meditate on happiness. I want you to close your eyes, start breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, maybe do 10 seconds, whatever works for you, five in, five out, 10, whatever you're happy with. And I just want you to start to think if you want. Think about what you're grateful for. Think about what you're happy about. Or start visualizing. Let's say you're about to go on a date. And dates usually are happening maybe on a weeknight at like, seven, eight o'clock at night, long day of work, close your eyes. It's almost like a mini nap and start visualizing what you're going to do on this date. Just like Michael Jordan visualizes, whoop, made that shot, three pointer, no problem. So close your eyes and start, you can even start visualizing how you're going to perform on the date. Start thinking about when he asked me this, this is how I'm going to respond. I want to ask him this question. I'm dying to know this about him. Um, when the check comes, I'm going to offer just like this. Get yourself in the right mind frame so that when you're on the date, you just like, you've already saw how you were going to behave and now you're just executing. Instead of, oh, I should have done that. I should have asked this. No, you're prepared. All right, back to our four easy habits that make you more attractive Number two is be a fib, F-I-B, a fib, a fun independent with boundaries. Um, let me give you an example just so you can understand this. I went on a few dates with this woman and we had a great time. And then in between dates, she sends this cute picture of her in her work outfit and she looks gorgeous. So fun, that was fun, playful, fun. You know, she's this big, uh, you know, she's this corporate woman that has a big job and she's still taking time to, to be a playful, you know, in child girl like mode, which is fun sending a picture instead of in woman corporate mode, which is not fun. No pictures. Right. And just all business. So play. She came into play. She came into fun even while during the workday. All right. So fun. Now, what I do is I end up saying like, wow, you're so gorgeous. You should take breaks from work every 
two hours and send me pictures. All right, I get it, a bit much. I should have toned that down, but I still did it. I think I was secretly like testing how fun she was gonna be and see like where her boundaries are. This is what men do. We kind of like poke and we see how far we can push someone. And even though I'm a dating coach and I knew probably shouldn't be saying that, I, I was still kind of curious like what I could get out of this woman. And it just like built into us, we're going to push. Even educated in this arena, probably not my best of stuff, it happened. So what she says is, ha ha ha, I think one will suffice until I see you tomorrow. So why do we love this response? Like I said earlier, she's got a great job, she's busy, she's independent. So independent, like, come on, Meg, like, go occupy yourself. If you really need to look at a beautiful woman, go on the internet, like, come on, man. So she's independent and then she has boundaries. She's like, I'm freaking busy here. I'm not gonna do this every two hours. But she always stuck to being fun. She said, ha ha ha, I think one will suffice until, until we see each other tomorrow. It wasn't like, Mike, I'm busy. Hey, I've got better things to do. No, she stayed on the playful side. Very important. So she was fun, independent boundaries. Number three is being curious. Um, one of my favorite Dale Carnegie quotes is be interested, not interesting. You know, we've all seen that guy that tries to be interesting and just goes on and on about whatever. And you're like, oh, I don't care. Well, don't be that woman either that just goes on and on about whatever. Get to know him, be curious. Now, the way you can authentically enjoy your dates is start directing conversation towards the things you like. Ask the questions about things you're interested in. If he's talking about football and you don't like football, but you do like reality television, just like me, start asking what, what reality shows he asks, uh, what reality shows he watches, and then you can chat about it. Now, let's say some opinion comes up that you're like, I don't agree with that. Instead of judging him and writing him off, I would suggest asking him why he feels that way. Maybe he has a reasonable response that you're gonna accept and is legitimate. Or maybe his response just goes even further down a hole and maybe it helps you further decide, oh, I don't know if that meets my standard. So, but get curious first, find that out and then make a decision later. All right, number four is offer to pick up the check. This is a somewhat sensitive topic and let me explain why. I talk to hundreds, even thousands of women and you know what they tell me? If he doesn't pay for the first date, there are some women that 100% will not go on the second date. And there's other women that are just like totally turned off and may show up, but they're probably not even giving the guy a chance. Now, so we know if men are watching this, you should probably pick up the tab, my friend. You're turning a lot of women off if you have the means. But women, what you may not know is I pull a lot of men. I say, how do you feel if she doesn't pay for the bill or pick up the tab? He says, I can't stand it. It feels like a gold digger. So what I would suggest, if you're not in this mindset, is trying to get to the mindset of, in America right now, we're trying to get 50-50, right? And even though we would love to keep a world where, where men are the men and pick up the bill, it would feel nice if you just offer. So at the end of the day, hey, you want me to get this? Or maybe you fumble in your purse for a while and then he goes, I got it. But that fumble in the purse or that, hey, can I get it? Even for me, like I'm most of the time gonna be like, I got it. But that fumble is very important. It makes him feel like you're willing. It makes him feel like you're not just there for the free meal or the free drink or whatever it is. All right, so those are your four. Let's summarize. Number one, be happy and smile. Number two is be a fib, which is fun, independent, and boundaries. Number three is being curious. And number four, should be an easy one, offer to pick up the check. Those are your four. Before we head off, I've got a question for you. 
What can men do that would instantly make you more attracted to him? Um, I think this would be very interesting. Plop that in the comments for me. All right, folks. Love all of you. Uh, we'll see you next video. If you want to keep watching the next video, there's more here and here. Um, we'll see you next time.